Astrobot reviews have come out. 94 Metacritic. If you take away the Elden Ring DLC, it's now the most, it's the highest rated game of the year, beating out Final Fantasy. So shout out to that. Uh, 95 on Open Critic, and then it's like 10 plus 10 out of 10s, like 8 plus 9 out of 10s. Uh, I mean, with this sort of like reviews and critical acclaim, like, I mean, I feel like it's going to be a game of the year nominee lock at this point. You know, I feel like that, like Black Myth, Final Fantasy, like those three are now, I feel Probably. like, I feel like those are three locks at this point. Like if Astrobot didn't make it, that'd be astonishing with how the review, with the scores are. It's, like I said, it's the currently the highest rated game of the year. Once you take out Shadow of Earth Tree on, on Metacritic. So shout out to that. I really want this damn game. That game, like, even from everything we saw about it before it came out as well, that that game, I mean, cause we, we talked about it. It's like Astrobot could essentially just be like the Mario yep. for Sony. For Sony. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, that game is just everything about it, like aesthetically, gameplay wise, that is just made for people to enjoy. Yo, yeah. I mean, like, I saw some people talking about how it's like one of the best platformers to ever come out. Is how they would put it. Nice, you know. Some people saying it's it's by far the best platformer since at least uh, at least you know Kirby the Forgotten Land, which was also a very good platformer. Um, but I mean, like I mean, it's being talked up there to be like one of the best platformers in platforming history. Like I mean, that's the conversation I'm seeing from journalists that I follow, like Jason Schreier and stuff like that. That's what I'm seeing. So it's like, dude, I, I I want this game so damn bad. Like, I bought Emeo because I didn't want it to run out yeah. and like it'd be expensive as hell later. So I don't regret that purchase. But at the same time, I'm like, fuck, I could have bought Astrobot. It's like, I'm I'm, I'm going to play Emeo later. I just got it today, uh, so I'm going to play Emeo later tonight because uh, apparently that's also fantastic. Uh, I saw uh, like one uh, Nintendo um, YouTuber. I follow Kit Ellis. He commented on Twitter. He's just like. It's just wild that no no one's really talking about Emeo that much. When meanwhile, Nintendo made one of like the most interesting and disturbing and just brutally in, intense stories that I've played in a very long time. So it's like well, shout out to Nintendo for that, I guess. So looking forward to that. But God damn, I want Astrobot. I looked at it today. It's like our, our Target nearby. They got like five in stock. I'm like, God dang, I want Astrobot so damn bad. Uh, Costco had the controller and game combo for 120 bucks. One of that too. <laughs> so I want this damn game. Um, Why didn't you message me about that one? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it had a controller too. My bad. I should have messaged you. <laughs> I, I'd have taken the controller. You could have the game. <laughs> well, fuck. Yeah, I should have messaged you. My bad, bro. I, it, who knows? It might still be open. That was posted earlier. It might still be open. I don't know. I'll go look. Uh, but I do really want this game. Uh, hopefully, I'll get it here in the next like couple weeks or so. I get paid next Friday, so maybe next Friday I'll pick it up. 